हेलो एवरीवन साई राम वेलकम बैक टू द साइंस क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर इलेवन लाइट साउंड एंड फोर्स ओके एंड दिस इज पार्ट फोर सो चिल्ड्रन टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टॉपिक लाइट राइट सो टुडे we are going to discuss about the sound okay now tell me how do you get up in the morning yes it's by by the sound of alarm clock or by your mother's wake up call right so or maybe the chirping of the birds so you can say that your day starts with the sound the world around you is noisy you can hear cars mo moving then music playing right or bird chirping and dogs barking right the so sound is very important part of our life right now yes we we are able to he, communicate with each other mostly by the sound only right you talk with your friends that time you use sound only right so let us learn more about the sound okay so tell me how the sound is produced or how is sound produced tell me yes can we clap with one hand no we cannot clap with one hand or we can play with a drum without stick no we we cannot play with a drum without stick right because sound can be produced with the help of two objects okay and tell me which two objects are here yes here we use our both the hands to clap then only the sound is produced right and in the drum and stick are used for playing the drum right and then only the sound is produced did you ever hear the sound produced by school bell you feel the vibration produced by it you must have heard right let's see one more example if a metallic spoon falls down we did not only hear the sound right but we can also hear the vibrations produced by it right or vibration vibrating sound stop once the vibration stops right so all these activities tell us that the sound is produced by vibrating bodies right? now i'm sure you must be thinking what vibrates when we speak how is sound produced by humans yes when when you speak loudly or when you when you are singing a song just keep your hand on the throat here okay here is our throat so keep your hand here and sing a song and see if you can feel anything yes the sound is produced by your voice box you can say that any body vibrates when it produce sound right and when it stops vibrating the sound also stop now let's see how musical instruments produce sound okay these are the musical instruments okay this instruments like guitar violin veena contains 
strings of different thickness okay and they are fixed to the hollow wooden bolt with a different tightness so children pluck a guitar string you can hear the sound it produce now look at the string carefully why does it look hazy touch it again touch it carefully do you feel something yes we feel the vibrations produced by the string when the string is plucked it's vibrate and the sound is produced right so children the different sound is produced because the vibrations in the length and thickness and the tightness of the string okay and these are the stringed instrument okay this veena violin and guitar these are the stringed instrument okay now how about the drum or even the tabla or nidangam or even dholak tell me how is sound produced in them yes generally they are cylindrical in this tabla dholak instruments contain black color membrane right you can see that in the picture it contain black color membrane with a different tightness on both the sides right you can see the tightness or tightness on all the sides of the dholak mridangam and tabla right if the membrane is vibrated by hands or by sticks at different places the different sounds are produced okay then the third picture is of flute the flute or the clarinet are the blow type of instruments right these instruments are cylindrical tubes open at both the ends okay and they are provided with the holes on their surface right when we blow them when we blow air in them the sound is produced now beat the skin of the drum you can see two drums in the picture so beat the skin of a drum you can hear the sound it makes now we quickly place some rice grains on the skin okay on the drum skin do the rice grain jump beat the skin again and touch it carefully do the rice grains jump yes you can you feel the skin moving very fast the skin of the drum vibrates when it is hit okay the string of the of a guitar and the skin of a drum produce sound by moving back and forth very fast okay the skin of the drum vibrates when it is hit so we can say that the sound is produced when anything moves back and forth very fast okay we can take one more example of metallic spoon when a metallic spool fo spoon fall on a ground sound is produced the impact of the fall causes the spoon to vibrate okay we can also observe the vibration of a speaker when the song is played right so children this type of movement is called vibration now we know that about the sound but what is music and what is noise generally we say that the musical instruments produced music right but if the musical sound becomes too loud it remains melodious no right we call it as a noise only so children 
loud and unpleasant sound is called noise. Okay. Yes. So children, sound is produced when something moves back and forth very fast. This type of movement is called vibration. Okay. Loud and unpleasant sound is called noise. When sound produced are regular and when it is in rhythm or following particular rhythm or particular pattern, we are, uh, they are pleasant to hear. Okay. And we call it as a music. If sound is following particular rhythm or uh, particular or regular rhythm, we call it as a pleasant music. Okay. A soft music which we all like to hear. Now, let's take one example of it. Okay. We'll create one music. Take, a, uh, take some glasses. Okay. And fill them up to the different level. Okay. Fill them with the water to the up to the different levels. Now, Take a pencil or spoon in your hand and strike all of them. You will hear a pleasant sound. This is called music. Okay. But you will notice that some sounds are different than others. We are surrounded by the different sounds all the time. Right? So some sounds are pleasant. The sound of a guitar and the chipping of a bird are pleasing to the ears, right? But some sound are annoying. Loud and unpleasant sound is called noise, right? If a music sound become too louder, it would become a noise. Here you can see when girl is listening a soft music, right? That is called pleasant sound. Okay? So children, here we had already discussed that the some sound are pleasant. But some sounds are unpleasant. Okay? Such as the sound of different vehicles. Or the loud noise made by the drills. Or the sound effect of fireworks right or the thunder or the sound produced by aeroplanes can damage your ears so children we should not hear the loud noise okay so we should not do the sound pollution we can control it by reducing the volume of television or other mu musical system so children i hope you understand Read the lesson, okay? And go through the videos of this lesson. Thank you.